Hello class, it's Miss Warner. I just am wanting to go over the instructions for the Sacred Place project that we introduced yesterday. I know using Google Earth Voyager can sometimes be a little confusing, so we just want to go over it one more time. Um, so when you open up Google Earth Voyager, this is what it will most likely like look like. Sometimes it will look like this, or sometimes it'll look like this. So if it looks like any of these, you wanna make sure you click the three lines and then click projects. Here you will click this blue button that says new project and you wanna make sure you create it in your Google Drive. From here, I like to retitle it right away and I will title mine sacred locations. I will then decide that I want to add a new feature, so I'll click add a new feature and search to add my place. Because it is the place of my choice for the first one, um, I'm going to choose New York City. It's right there. Click it. It will take me right to New York with a little um, location dot on it. I will then click add to project. This is where you can change the title of it if it's um, like a specific place in New York you want to go. or And when you save it, you want to make sure it's being saved to the correct project down below. Once you make sure of both of those, you go ahead and click Save. And it will add it to your file on the left. Now on the left, you want to hover over New York and click this pencil to edit it. This is where you're going to type and add photos, so you want to click Replace. This is where you can add a photo. I like to do mine where I search it. So I'm going to search New York City and search. You can add photos multiple different ways. I just found that this was the easiest, so I'm going to click the one I want and click Select it will then add it to my project. Down here is where I would um, add why I would want to go to New York and maybe something fun I would want to do while I was there. Down below, you can change the color of your location marker as well as the images within the location marker. Once you guys are done, make sure you hit this back arrow to make sure it saves. Now the next feature needs to be a sacred location, so you go to new feature, you click search to add place. I'm going to choose Kootenai Falls, which happens to be in my search history, so I just go ahead and click that. It takes me right to Kootenai Falls, where I make sure I click add to project, and I, because it's in the correct project folder, I click save. Now you go over, you hover, and you click the pencil. You have to make sure you click replace, otherwise you will not be able to add a photo or any text. You go ahead, you add a folder, or photo. I, I click it, I select it, and it adds it. This text box is where I will add all eight of my answers. And if, like, for example, Kootenai Falls is not a state park or a national park. However, in my eight answers, one of the questions is what year did it become a national or state park? You just need to put that it is not one, therefore there's no specific date. Um, so as long as you have something written and they're all numbered correctly, that's what matters. Make sure you cite your sources at the end of the paragraph box, though. Um, again, here's where you can change the color of your marker and the um, photos on the marker. Then I'm going to go back once I'm done. Now say you did these two in the wrong order. If you hover over it, you see the two lines on the left of the name. You click and you can drag that up and it will change the order. Now you guys saw that I had lines on my project and I said you'd do not need to do this, but if you would like to, here's how you do it. You click New Feature, you click Draw Line or Shape, and you'll get this plus looking sign on the map screen. You want to click your first location, 
And then it's easiest if you go and you click the location you're wanting to draw the line to. It will take you over to it, so in that way you're not trying to like maneuver it yourself. You click the second location and you want to make sure you hit enter to save it as well as to end the line making. So you click enter. I say I labeled these like trip one, trip two, anything like that. I make sure it's being saved to the correct project and I click save. You should see these pop up eventually. Sometimes it can be a little slow, so don't worry about that. And then you continue on for your next feature where you will search at a place. The next one is a place that you're choosing. So say I want to go to Las Vegas, I search Las Vegas. It takes me to it. I make sure I click add to project, make sure it's the correct title and the correct project, click save. And then I will hover over it to click edit, click replace and add my photos and texts. This is all you guys need to do for your five locations. Um, we really would pref well, we really want you guys to do the order of a place you're choosing, a sacred location, another place you're choosing, another sacred location, and lastly, a third place you're choosing, and then back to Bozeman. We really would like that alternating um, order, so please, do that and if you have any questions make sure you let Mr. Nagel or I know and we will try and help you out the best we can.